Hello, this will be a quick video for the Valcom ACS programmer. In this video, we're going to show you how to make a bell schedule for like if you had a school and you had the bells go off several times a day. We're going to make these bells go off Monday through Friday, and we're going to make some holidays in the schedule that the bells will not go off on. So we're starting off, uh, we're thinking we've already connected to the panel and you've received the most recent information. And this is probably the screen that pops up once you have opened up the most recent information. So we're just going to cancel out of this. Here at the top, there's going to be programming, and there's program schedule events. Once you open this up, you have a screen like this. If you have no schedule events, it's going to be blank just like this. So we're going to give this a name like a M through F Bell Schedule. All right, now we gave it a good name. Now, we're, now we need to add the bells in one at a time. So we're going to get add, and you get another pop-up window, and you set the time of what when you want this event to happen. Now this time is set for military time, but uh, we're going to say the bells go off at 7 and 55. So 7.55 in the morning. And what happens, we're going to have this tone go off, which sounds like a bell, and then um, we're going to have this go off for three seconds. And what groups we want to go off? We want the whole school to go off. So we're going to say all and OK. And we have this in here now. If we add, it carries all the information over from the last one to make it a little bit simpler, a little bit easier if we're going to be doing the same thing over and over. So last one was 7.55. We're going to say that's a get your butt to class. And now we're going to make 8 o'clock for you should be in class. And if you come in after that, you're tardy. So I did 8 and then 0, 0. We'll make another one for the start of lunch. We'll say lunch happens at uh, 11 o'clock. And OK. And we'll say lunch is over at 12 o'clock. Now we're going to have one for the bell. School's over. And we'll say school ends at right at 3 o'clock p.m. Now I said this is military time, so 3 o'clock p.m. is 1,500 hours. 1,500. And hit OK. So with this now, we have the bell schedule. But at this point, it will not work because it has not been set up for any particular days. So at this point, if you look down here, we have a button that says View Dates. We're going to click that button. And I said we want to choose Monday through Friday. Every Monday through Friday. If you wanted your schedule to work just on one day, say April the 8th, you can click April the 8th and click Schedule 1, Monday through Friday, Monday through Friday Bell Schedule. And the bells will work only for that one day. We're looking for every Monday through Friday. So in order to do this, we click on Monday. So when we say every Monday, use this bell schedule. Click on Tuesday and say every Tuesday, use the bell schedule. And continuing on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Now, if you notice, after we left each uh, letter here, it has changed color. Now it has a little yellow, saying that there's something on the Monday dates and something on Tuesday. So you can click on them and see what schedules show up. So if you click on Tuesday, you can see that the Monday through Friday bell schedule has been selected. So if you accidentally clicked on Saturday, let's just do that here. And I accidentally clicked on it and then realize it's going off on Saturdays. It's as simple as going to Saturday and unchecking the schedule. So now our bells are going to go off Monday through Friday at the appropriate times we made. But now we want to set a few holidays. Um, like um, this right here is Thanksgiving Day. We don't want the bells to go off. So for November 25th, we're going to say that's a holiday. Whoops. November 25th. So when you click set holiday mode dates, you can select what dates you want. 25th, and we're going to be out of school actually on that Friday as well. Um, not that it should matter, but we're going to say Christmas, but also Christmas Eve. We're not going to be at school on New Year's Eve. Uh, July 4th is a Sunday, so we don't have to worry about that, but selecting it doesn't harm us at all. And it's as simple as that. Now, Thanksgiving was on a Thursday. So if we go back to that Thursday, and we say, well, show me the Thursday schedule. If you look now, that 25th of November has been changed color. So the bell schedule should not go off because it's a holiday. And that's all it's going to take. Now, if you want to go back to the schedule, it's simple. If you need to change this little time, like we're changing lunch time. Lunch time starts at 11.05. 
you can simply go back into the 11 o'clock, hit edit, and change your time from 11 to 11.05. Again, you can explore this more. There is many actions, so if you don't want that, that bell sound, you can have it do a weird wobble sound or make it say Sunday. It has some catchphrases in here. You can also record your own phrases and it can play whatever you want. It could be a little music or it could be a little your voice, but that all comes later on when it comes to recording voice files. Not in this video. For now, I'm going to cancel out of that. And once you're all done with your scheduling, all you have to do is you'll click on transfer and send files, and it will have your schedule uploaded at that point.